here's my new finished boiler. I'm going to show you a little like test run. I already know it works, but um, let's see. I'll light up my little propane torch here. So the denatured alcohol is what I'm using to light it. That's lit. Got to put my gloves on. I already hear my boiler starting to sizzle. I've already ran it today. Just recently, actually, my fire just went out. So, let me see if we have a little bit of... Nothing yet. Well, there's a little bit coming out, but of course, I'm wait to... A little bit of pressure comes up. So, just to show you, there's a little sight glass. Of course, is the alcohol. Not as clean burning as I would like it to be, but it's good enough. This is what I this is it. It's sunny size denatured alcohol solvent. Five bucks, no can. And here's my copper tubing I soldered on there and my fitting and everything. I have to wear these big heavy gloves when I run it because it's just these all the piping I mean gets really hot. And I'm in the process of building a permanent stand right now out of some sheet metal. I'm using like my metal shears to cut it all out. But um see if I can get a little shot for you of the steam. Put that right down there. It looks like it's very wet steam right now, but usually it's it's very good about that. That's just because when I filled it, it I have to fill it through the through the pipe right there. I don't have a safety valve like cut off thing up the top yet. So let's see if I can build a little more pressure. And then blow off a big burst. I tested my little steam engine. I tried to make a little bit better seals and everything, but turns out that didn't work and the same plans that I got for my stand that I'm building right now is also has plans for a little steam engine that's really simple and all all you really need, you don't need any special parts, it's just all stuff, hardware store and scrap parts, so I'm gonna probably make that have videos on that, but let's see what we have here now, steam wise. That's better. Got a little more pressure here. Now, I'm gonna put this out because I was just running a lot, so I'll show you how I quickly and efficiently super high techly put out my fire. Take it out here, put a board on it. And you can see that boiling dies very quickly. Just leave that under there. And there's still a little steam coming out. Not much. Just close that off. Well actually I'll just leave that open a little bit. So if there's any other pressure in there it'll leave. But right there is my steam boiler. I'm gonna have uh, some fuel tubing hooked up to here, and that's what's gonna go for to the steam. But um, I'll see if I can get a little short clip of the plans I'm gonna be making. Here are the plans that I'm getting my uh, steam engine from. This part goes under the boiler. This isn't what the whole thing sits on. It goes under the boiler, and you drill some holes in there, and that's what you put like your that's bit fuel on your like solid alcohol and stuff. Here is the boiler stand I was just telling you about. It just you get five inch by three and a quarter inch piece of sheet metal and then you like kinda cut out a piece of paper and measure eh, it's it's kinda complicated with that. But then just to give you a little in like what that's gonna look like. And up here are some holes you can just rivet the boiler straps gonna be going over that. And then here is um this is like the valve gear how it's going or valve rod it's um just the push rod right here and you know that's gonna go to um I really don't have a picture right here that's fine one it's gonna go to the steam tube it's gonna cover a port cover a hole right here where the steam goes in so it's just gonna keep oscillating back and forth these are the plans Someone who made the steam engine also on YouTube, they um they have a video of it running. 
and then they, there's a link there where you can get these plans, and it's just 10 pages I printed off. And most of it, like I said, you can get from, like, a local hardware store and everything. It states in here, like, all the specific measurements. I can't really read any of that. But, um, let's see it all. And this is just flywheel stuff. It shows you hacksaw and all that. And crank stuff, and very precise measurements on the cranks, of course. And piston right here, and then there's your cylinder. It's a little like a little just pipe right there, and then you get a solder that pipe on there. A little two holes in it as a cylinder head, and then there's your boiler. They're actually using a little one pint like soup can almost, and they get the steam and everything steam out. They made a really simple boiler. I wanted a little more control over my steam, so I put that on there. And you know, it's, it's basically the same setup. But now what I need to add is that a water filler, and that that's going to be pretty simple because all you need is like a little tube with threads on and just pound it in right there. So um, I think you might be able to see the sight glass better right there. You can see the water level. But, um, yeah, so those are the plans for the steam engine I'm going to build. It's probably under 50 bucks, probably a $20 steam engine all together once it's built. And, um, so yeah, there's the demonstration of my boiler, and then that's the explanation of the new steam engine I'm going to build. And just to let you know over here, this is my old steam engine. It's made out of RC motor, as I showed in my earlier video. Cylinders are bullet shells, and mostly I just had problems with sealing and everything. And these elbow engines have to be perfect and able to run. But um, you you could see the steam started to do something to it, like it started to go. But just the seal between the cylinder and then the rod where the steam comes in. There's a little hole there. See if I can get a shot of that. Probably not. Um, but that's just, it was too, it's too small, like of a, I guess there's a very small margin, but you have to get that perfect. So I couldn't do that without the, because I, I don't really have any good machining supplies. But, um, so yeah, there's my boiler plans. Old steam engine, this is going to be out. I'm just going to set that aside. Don't care about that.